students, welcome to English Online. This is our video lesson number two. My name is teacher Marica. Today we are going to talk about environment. What does the word environment mean? Now open your books, page 74. Unit 5, B Green. Let's see. An environment is everything that is around us, which includes living and non-living things, such as uh, soil, water, animals and plants, which adapt themselves to their surroundings. Simply, we would say, the environment is everything you can see around you the place where you live. I kao što vidimo reč environment znači okruženje, to jest uslovi u kojima živimo. Let's see what is in this module. Šta ćemo naučiti u ovom modulu? We are going to talk about environment, as I've just said, about problems of environment and the solutions that can help to solve the problems. A to znači da ćemo danas naučiti da govorimo o problemima našeg okruženja kao i o rešenjima koja su moguće za rešavanje tih problema. Pritom ćemo naučiti da upotrebljavamo nove reči koje su u vezi sa ovom temom. Pogledajte sliku, pa hajde da počnemo. Kako biste vi rasporedili ove reči? Koji su to problemi, a koja su rešenja tih problema? Now stop this video and put the phrases in the correct place. Look at the page 74 where you can see problems. Page 75 provides solutions for these problems. Your task is to match the problems and the solutions. But first of all, let's hear how to pronounce new words. Listen and repeat. Endangered animals. Endangered animals. Endangered animals. Deforestation. 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 Air pollution. Air pollution. Air pollution. Rubbish. 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 Walk or ride to school. Walk or ride to school. Walk or ride to school. Recycle or reuse. Recycle or reuse. Recycle or reuse. Adopt an animal. Adopt an animal. Plant trees. Plant trees. Plant trees. Watch. Listen and check your answers. Be green. Earth is facing some serious environmental problems and it needs our help to solve them. After all, we are all responsible for these problems. Smog from factories and burning fossil fuels means the air we breathe is not clean. But if we walk or ride a bike, we can reduce air pollution and keep fit at the same time. Humans also create a lot of rubbish. The average household in the UK alone produces more than a tonne of rubbish every year. However, more than half of this rubbish didn't need to be thrown out. If you recycle or reuse, you can save a lot of rubbish from being dumped in landfills. Human activity is also responsible for the large number of endangered animals in the world. It's time we started to protect life on our planet. 
There are wildlife organizations that raise awareness of endangered species and try to protect them. You can help too. Why not adopt an animal and save one from extinction? One of the most serious environmental problems is deforestation. Forests are the lungs of our planet. But people burn or cut down trees to create farmland or build new towns. This is happening so fast that in 100 years the world's rainforests could disappear. If we take action now, we can still save the rainforests. We can plant new trees to replace the ones that are lost. Our planet needs us and it's up to us to do our best to solve the problems we created. Let's see how to protect environment. Stop this video, mark the following sentences true or false. When we finish exercise 1, let's start the exercise 2. You have to make sentences and tell us how to protect your environment. You can use verbs reduce or save. Reduce znači Redukovati, to je smanjiti, a save znači sačuvati. Napišite rečenice. I evo primjera. If we walk or ride a bike, we can reduce air pollution. It's your turn. Open page 76. Read the text quickly and find all the words related to school areas in the blog. Write the words in your notebooks. I to su te reči, verovatno ste ih i vi pronašli. Let's start with the exercise number two. Now listen and read the text. Lauren's blog, Flying the Green Flag. Blog Entry Hi everyone, I've got exciting news. Today, my school received a green flag. It's now flying over the school assembly hall. What's a green flag? Well, EcoSchools, an international organization which promotes eco-friendly schools, gave it to us. In the past year, we've installed recycling bins in the school corridors and each classroom has energy-efficient bulbs. Also, every Friday is Travel Smart Day. That's when everyone who lives close by, both students and teachers, walks or rides bicycles to school instead of coming by car. Does anyone else go to an eco school? Monday, the 14th of the 5th, 12-11. Comment by Tina, Texas, USA, 14. Welcome to the club, Lauren. My school's an eco-school too. We're very proud of our green flag and do lots of eco-friendly activities. For example, we use an outdoor classroom on sunny days to save on electricity. And in art class, we create art from recycled materials. Also, every Friday we collect litter in nearby parks. Everyone joins in. And we have good fun together. Monday, 14th of the 5th, 1913. Comment by Ricky. Paisley, Scotland, 13. Hey, Lauren, congratulations. I attend an eco school too. We spend a lot of our time at school doing eco friendly activities. We use food waste from the canteen to make compost. Then, we use the compost to help grow organic vegetables in our greenhouse. We also collect rainwater in buckets to water our vegetables. As our headmaster says, every little helps. Tuesday, 15th of the 5th, 1734. 
read the statements and mark them according to what you have just read. Write R for right and W for wrong and D S for doesn't say. A sada pogledajte video i proverite vaše odgovore. Watch the video and check your answers. Flying the green flag. My school received a green flag. It's now flying over the school assembly hall. What's a green flag? Well, it was given to us by Eco Schools, an international organization which promotes eco-friendly schools. In the last year, we've installed recycling bins in the school corridors and each classroom has energy-efficient bulbs. Also, every Friday is Travel Smart Day. That's when everyone who lives close by, both students and teachers, walks or rides bicycles to school instead of coming by car. Does anyone else go to an eco-school? My school's an eco-school too. We're very proud of our green flag and do lots of eco-friendly activities. For example, we use an outdoor classroom on sunny days to save on electricity. And in art class, we create art from recycled materials. Also, every Friday we collect litter in nearby parks. Everyone joins in and we have good fun together. I also attend an eco school. A lot of our time at school is spent doing eco-friendly activities. We use food waste from the canteen to make compost. Then, we use the compost to help grow organic vegetables in our greenhouse. We also collect rainwater and buckets to water our vegetables. As our headmaster says, every little helps. What about your school? How could you make it more eco-friendly? Ovdje zaustavite video i rešite zadatak. And now open your books, page 77. Look at the pictures and match the phrases to the pictures. Stop this video and do the exercise. Let's practice new vocabulary. Read the words in the list. Listen and repeat. Start a recycling club. Start a recycling club. Start a recycling club. Grow organic fruit and vegetables. Grow organic fruit and vegetables. Grow organic fruit and vegetables. Create art from recycled materials. Create art from recycled materials. Create art from recycled materials. Build a birdhouse. Build a birdhouse. Build a birdhouse. Do environmental projects. Do environmental projects. Do environmental projects. Organize a cleanup day. Organize a cleanup day. Organize a cleanup day. Look at the exercise four. We are going to learn how to make suggestions. Read the note. To make suggestions, we use how about or what about playing football? Why don't we play football? We could play football. Let's play football. Use the ideas in exercise number three to make suggestions about green activities at your school, as in the example. How about starting a recycling club? That's a great idea.
That would be all for today. For your homework, you can revise prepositions, choose the correct prepositions and circle it in exercise 5. Na posljednjim stranicama vašeg učbenika nalazi se i nove reči koje možete također pogledati. We'll do exercise 6 and exercise 7 when we do our project. That would be all for today. See you soon. Bye!